create a kaleidoscope, all you need is the mirror effect. I'm going to create a new comp. This, uh, I'll make it small because my computer is old. Boom. We've got a composition. I didn't name it because it's the only one I'm using. Drop a photo in there. doesn't matter the photo as long as there's variation in color and brightness. You'll get something interesting. I'm using the keyboard shortcut command option Y on the Mac to create an adjustment layer. I'm going to name it mirror. Just like that. And I selected the mirror effect. Plop that on there. The mirror creates a reflection across the reflection center. And by default, that is placed over here on the right edge of the comp. Don't ask me why. That's just the default. But you can either click here to plop that wherever you want. Here, for example. And then click and drag. Or you can be more precise and place it where you want. And I want it specifically in the center. I want to create radial reflections like this example that I created. This isn't really how an actual kaleidoscope works. That's more complicated. I'll leave that for another video, but it's, it's pretty easy to pull off. That's why I'm using it here. And I want to create segments of reflection that will fit nicely into 360 degrees. So I've chosen to break it down into 15 degree segments. So my first reflection will be 15 degrees. And so you can see that line starting up here. That's our first reflection. Duplicate the effect. 15 plus 15 is 30. It gives us a reflection across the 30 degree line, which is right here. And you'll notice that we get this fold or reflection for free because it's a reflection of a reflection. So we don't need to bother creating a reflection at 45. We already got that. So we'll move on to the next 15 degree mark, which is 60 and these numbers are not set in stone. This is just my particular preferred method. I suppose you can, you can do it in smaller or larger increments experiment, have fun. And after 60, the next one that I need is 90 and the final reflection will be 180 and that will create a reflection across this line. Everything over here will be reflected there, even though this actually looks pretty cool with the baseball field. I like that. Okay, hit enter. Boom, I've got a circular radial reflection kaleidoscope effect thing. And that's basically it. After that point, it's just a matter of you animating the media that is underneath the mirror. And so I'll just click and drag that. And you see interesting patterns already starting to emerge. So you can go crazy animating the scale, position, rotation. You can do mesh warps, you can animate the colors, you can do whatever whatever you want, create collages, lots of different images in there. At, at that point, it's all up to you. But this is how to get started with a kaleidoscope. You have to kind of learn the logic of the reflections and play around with them. Once you've created your reflections, if you decide that a circle that's kind of a perfectly symmetrical reflection is not for you and that's boring, well, fine, play with it. I, I can play with this angle here and I could even animate this. That could actually be really cool. And everything up upstream, up here in the stack, gets uh, reflected big time downward. Everything you change here affects everything down below. So you can create some pretty interesting, pretty interesting visualizations just by tweaking your mirrors. And what if you change the location? I'm going to move that out. I'm going to turn this one off because why not? Oh, that has like zero effect now. Oh no, it does have an effect. Cool. All right, so you can go crazy at this point. And that is how you create a simple radial kaleidoscope. Boom.